Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chalvan, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangudu. Today we discuss about the subject Principles of Management. In that Principles of Management, we will discuss about Coordination. Here, Coordination is the essence of management. It is has here functions of management refers to the task of integrating the activities of separate unit of an organization to, uh, to accomplish the goals efficiently. Then it permits all levels and all the departments of management. Here the management seeks to achieve coordination through its basic functions of planning, organizing, staffing, directing and controlling. Then next we discuss about six principles of our coordination. We will discuss one by one. The first point we will discuss about principles of direct contact, then principles of continuity, then principles of timing, then coordination at the early stage, then principles of dynamism, then principles of reciprocal relationship. These are the six points we will discuss in the principles of coordination. Then next we discuss about importance of coordination. First one is for unity in action, then effective utilization of resources, then minimization of waste of waste and time, then cooperation, then encourage team spirit, then lesser conflict under disputes, then reconciliation, then increased productivity, built synergy, then essence of management, then achievement of goals and objectives. These are the points we will discuss in the importance of coordination. Then next we discuss about controlling. Last but not the most important pain management. Here the definition will be discussed about. Controlling is the last functions of management in which the actual performance of employees is measured. Here we have, again we have to discuss. Again I want to tell in the same meaning. Controlling is the last functions of management in which the actual performance of employees is measured. Here we have to measure the employees out of performance. Then it lead to achieve the pre-decided goal. Already we have to decide the certain goals. The decided goals we have to achieve. We have to pre-decide the goal. Then next we discuss about control process. There are four points are available. The first one is for establish objectives and standards. This is the first point we will be discussed about established objectives and standards. The performance objectives are defined and the standard for the measuring them are set. There are two types of standards. So one is for output standard, another one is for input standard. Then next we discuss about measure actual performance to spot deviations or variance between what really occurs and what is most desired? Here, the next we discuss about comparing result with the objectives and standards. Here, we have to discuss establish the need for action. Way of making comparison. Here, historical, relative and benchmarking. Then, the last point we discuss about taking corrective actions. Taking an action necessary to correct and improve the things. These are the four things we will discuss in the control process. Then next we discuss about types of controlling techniques. We have the two different types of techniques are available. The first one is for traditional control techniques, then model control techniques. Here the tradical, traditional control techniques we will discuss about budgeting and budgetary control, cost control, production planning and control, then inventory control, break-even analysis, profit and loss control, then statistical data analysis. Here the modern control techniques we will discuss about return on investment control, programming, evaluations, and review techniques, then management information system, then management audit. These are the two different things we have to discuss in the controlling techniques. Again I want to tell you there are two different types of controlling techniques. One is for traditional and one is for modern control techniques. These are the two main important things we have to discuss in the types of controlling techniques. Thank you for watching this video.